Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome to this episode of Hot Wheels Mustangs. You don't see these episodes very often because, uh, well, uh, I finally caught up. Uh, so uh, I collect Hot Wheels Mustangs, if you didn't know that. And my website is hotwheelsmustangs.com. I've got uh, them catalog catalog cataloged, that's the word, cataloged by decades. And so you can simply click on a decade and it gives you information and shows you pictures of just about every Hot Wheels Mustang ever made. And these are all my cars. I have every one of them. And it's just been a super fun um, project. Now, I started maybe, I mean, I've been collecting Hot Wheels forever, but I started this seriously maybe 15 years ago, um, which meant that I had to spend a lot of money and do a lot of research. And I started with the the first cars in the 60s and worked my way up, thinking that was probably made the most sense. And I did videos every time I would finish my collection of that year. So when I came out with, let's say, let's pick one, uh, 1991, there was only one car that came out that year. So it was the 65 Mustang convertible right here. Now that was an easy year. Just one car. That's it. That's all Hot Wheels came out with. Uh, Mattel was one new Mustang. Um, and so I would buy that and then I would do a video. So I have a whole video series on this channel if you look carefully. Um, and you can watch any year. You can pick the year that you were born and see which Hot Wheels Mustangs came out that year. And so some years are light. As a matter of fact, mostly um, they were light. But other years, like um, as a matter of fact, the very next uh, not the next year so that was 91 then there were none in 92 93 there were a couple 95 there were a bunch um and not just the convertibles there's other cars as well some of them very collectible and rare and hard to find but this one look at the convertible this year one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen different varieties of that car that year so my intention is to purchase one example of every car each year. That's it to start with. So I have at least one of those examples. But if I can find more than one, like it looks like here, I have three. I've got the this black one that came um, at the, uh, you could only get at the Greater Seattle toy show in 1995 there's also the fisher price 65 year birthday version and then there's a gold version so there's a bunch of other ones that's for sure and maybe someday i will go back through and try to get all of them that's a whole nother thing so um, that's how this that's how this website works in addition there are two conventions that happen every year one on the west coast one on the east coast um, collectors convention and collectors nationals they have um usually have a special edition Mustang, and I track those down as well. I don't go to the conventions, so I have to pay higher prices after the fact for, um, from people who are, uh, to people who are selling extras. And then there's also the website, hotwheelscollectors.com, and there's uh, there are some there as well. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and start there because... Um, this gives you information and some history. So my intention is that my website is a wealth of information for anybody not only interested in the Mustang uh, castings, but also just Hot Wheels in general. So I try to do my research, do it well, and then I add that information. So I have information about each car. So these are the special kind of edition um cars usually part of the red line club you can join the club for 10 bucks um, and you get some perks you also get the first first chance to purchase uh mustangs and these are usually high quality stuff just gorgeous paint jobs and special tires and they're just awesome and uh this one 2024 the 1970 mustang boss 302 and I just took it out of its case today. Uh, it is a Redline Club exclusive Spectra Flame Gold Chrome. It is, they call it bright yellow. It is really not yellow. It is, I mean, the, 
the packaging shows yellow, but this thing is gold chrome for sure. It, it just screams gold chrome, so I just changed it to gold chrome. It is what it is. That's how I see it. Detailed headlights and taillights. The large Ford logo on the back. You can also see the, the taillights. Uh, and the Real Rider five-spoke wheels. Gorgeous. Just a gorgeous car. So um, that one just came in a couple weeks ago. And then I'll take you back to the... Now, I'm not done with 2024s because it is September. I just didn't want to wait. So I really enjoy doing all these videos. About every two or three months, I would have a whole year uh, collected and researched. Um, and the first thing I do is I take pictures of them and put them in a, uh, a collector's plastic case, put them on my wall. I have got shelves all, catalog all, all organized uh, chronologically by year. Um, and... Um, since I got caught up um, last year, I've just had to wait for these cars to show up at the stores. And it's not as much fun. It's I don't have patience. So before it was just tracking them all down. And now it's literally waiting for them to come out. And it's, it's September, so we only have a few more months of the year left. So... Um, Hopefully, I'm almost there, but let's go ahead and get to 2024. There's 2023. So, every car from 2023 is right here. And then here we go 2024. And why am I doing this video? I'm not done. I just I couldn't wait. That's what I wanted to say. I just couldn't wait. I want to give you an update. Um, and then maybe you can touch base later uh, at the end of the uh, year, and I'll have the whole collection so the 60s and these are all by the way in order by year as well so if you're looking for a certain year like 1970 they are in order so here's 70 and then 84 92 etc so uh the 67 shelby mustang gt500 came in the night burners five pack series red with silver stripes black mc5 wheels says gt500 on the side the 69 Ford Mustang Boss 302, you could get it in the Fast and Furious set, which is right here, car four of five in that series. Uh, really cool car. I love that. And if the if the blister pack, the cardboard pack, is interesting enough, I take a picture of it because I open it and throw it away, right? Which is a no-no in the collector's world. I do it anyway. I want the car, not the cardboard. Uh, you could also get this car in... Uh, the Vintage Racing Club series, this one yellow with the number 12 on the side. And then as a mystery model series, I, I, um, this is the bag. Um, it, in, the intention is you just it's a mystery. You buy it, and when you open it, when you get home, you find out what you got. There are ways to find out. There's numbers on each bag. So if you know what the number is for the Mustang, you can find the bag that's a Mustang and buy it. I didn't do it that way. I bought it online from someone who did that. And so I got the bag and was able to cut it open. It comes with some stickers. I threw the stickers and the bag away, kept the car. The 70 Ford Mustang Mach 1 in the Hot Wheels 5-pack Retro Racer Series. Number 5 on the uh, side and Vituski Motor Company as well 84 mustang svo from the then and now series and uh this is car two of ten red with black on the hood and rooftop chrome pr5 wheels 92 ford mustang from the hot wheels the 90s series this is car three out of ten in that series very cool uh this one just got as well not too long ago uh interesting um i had to i kind of stumbled across this was researching, trying to find, I think I was on eBay and I found this car and I thought, what, what's that? So it hadn't been listed any place else yet, but someone had an extra and was selling it. So picked it up and then did the research and found out that yes, it had just come out not too long ago. It's uh, the 13, 2013 Ford Mustang GT Hot Wheels Drift five pack. So you'd have to buy the whole five pack to get this car. Um, which isn't terribly expensive, $10, $12 or something. And I probably spent double that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I spent $15, $20 for just this car. But I don't have to deal with finding it. I don't have to deal with uh, the other four cars in the pack that I don't want. So this has these weird crash, bang, pow graphics on the side, which is kind of different. 
and definitely not my favorite. Uh, custom 18 Ford Mustang GT. You could get it in the multi-pack. Um, this matte black with orange on the left here, number 18 racing car. Really nice looking race car. And then this one uh, I just got also. It's uh, uh, the dark red with the kind of ripped white and black graphics from the Hot Wheels Drift Pack series. Um, and the 2018 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. This was a higher quality car. Came in a nice pack. Car Culture Slide Street 2 is the series. This is car 5 of 5. Gray with very detailed headlights and trim. Uh, neon green accents uh, and black real rider 10 spoke wheels. Uh, when you see real rider, that means rubber. So they're actually real rubber. That means they're not fast on the track, but they're really cool. <laughs> so cool to collect. The 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 in the um, Gran Turismo, the real driving simulator series. I don't know why I didn't take a picture of the blister pack. I, I just forgot. And then you could also get the same car in the uh, Hot Wheels 24 Stars and Stripes series. White with red and blue stripes and black stars. Every year, pretty much, Hot Wheels does like a, right around the summertime, they do like a American flag set. And Mustangs have been in that set several times. So definitely a big difference. Um, the one on the left, the Gran Turismo, higher quality um, casting compared to the one on the right, which is kind of your standard Hot Wheels. Doesn't even look like the same car to me. Um, but... Um, and I do need to add some more information on it. looks like I'm missing like what kind of wheels, etc., the color of the interior. I try to include all of that. Um, sometimes I miss that. The Mustang Funny Car. Now, if they don't have a year on it, so um, they're all, I told you, they're all in order. But if they don't have a year, I put them at the end. So this one, the Mustang Funny Car, doesn't have a year. So it's just tacked on at the end here. It's from the Hot Wheels Art Cars series, Car 7 of 10. Um, you could get it in Zamac. Z I never could pronounce that. Zamac, Zamac. It just means metal, unpainted. It's a Walmart exclusive. I don't have that one yet. Or white with black and white graphics, which is this one. Um, it has a dragon head on the sides, which I didn't even know until I read that somewhere. Um, and you could also get it in yellow. So um, there are three versions. I have one. This car is interesting. Uh, it, it, it cost me a little money. It was a special edition online. Daniel Arsham, he's a New York artist, um, and he created a full-size Mustang um, that was eroded, like rusted, but it was in perfect shape, which is interesting. Uh, so this is a partnership between he and Mattel to make uh, a, a Hot Wheels size, a 164th scale size version. When I open this up and you open the box, the car raises up. It had like a ribbon system that when you open the box the car goes oh and uh i know i think i've i think i've talked about this before but that was really cool i kept the box for a while and then i threw it away i just i just i just don't and it even came in its own little acrylic c collector's case guess what i did well i pretty sure i threw it away uh i it has to fit on my shelf and they all have to look the same it's just my my ocd in me uh, it's just how it works in my life. So, and then I've got two more that I am waiting for: the Ford Mustang Dark Horse in a Transformers series. It's a police car, and there's another one that is um, just the GT version, not the Dark Horse. So the Dark Horse is like a higher end Mustang. So there's two versions of that car. Waiting for those. Waiting to find those. Um, so there's the update. Um, if you're into Hot Wheels or collecting Hot Wheels. Um, Carry on. It's a great hobby. It's inexpensive uh, for the most part if you don't get crazy carried away like I I, I have. But it's still, if you get them at the store for a dollar, um, you collect cars that you like, you, it, it's really exciting. Um, sometimes I'm like, wow, maybe I should start collecting Ferraris because I love Ferraris or, or, or Porsche, you know, Porsches because I like Porsches a lot too. But there's so many cool cars out there, so I can't collect them all. Um, so I just stuck with Mustangs because it's always kind of been my thing. And I'll keep you updated later when I get uh, the whole collection. I'll probably have a video out right around uh, January of 2025 with the whole 2024 collection. Thanks for joining me for this time. However, Mr. Johns is out.